Welcome back AACPS staff. Now that we have our WeVideo project created and we're in the correct mode, we're ready to start beginning adding media to our project. Now we have two different kinds of media that we can add to a project that we're building in storyboard mode. We can add video clips, but we can also add still images to begin building our video. And there's two different ways that we can get our still images or video clips. The first is to use the stock media that WeVideo has available for you. And when you first create a new video project, you will land on the stock media tab as you see here in the upper left of my screen. And WeVideo will always do some kind of a sample search for you. For example, right now we're looking at video and images of Mars. Right now, each of these thumbnails gives us a little glimpse of what this video would look like, but if you want a better idea, you can simply click on one of these clips, and over here on the right-hand side of our screen in our player area we can see the entire clip so I can decide with more information than just the thumbnail if this is what I would like to use I can also click up here where it says all and choose this drop down to tell we video that I only want to see video clips or maybe I only want to see still images available for Mars. So this comes up on the screen in the player area, but because it's an image, there's no action. Nothing moves. Or filter for just videos, and then find things where there's actually action involved. When I find a video or image that I would like to add to the project that I'm building, I simply click on it and slide it down here onto the storyboard, and now this video clip is in the second position. But I mentioned there were two different ways to get your media. The second is to go to the tab called My Media, and then this one gives you the option to import your existing media or to record your own. So let's start with the Import option. When I select on Import, I get the embedded smaller window here where I can choose to browse and this will give me access to my entire desktop where I could find something on my H drive or a USB drive, my shared drive, etc. The other option that we have is to import from what WeVideo is calling social sites. This would include your Google Drive and your OneDrive. So if you record something and you save it to one of our cloud platforms, you don't have to download it first to get it to your desktop so that you can upload it to WeVideo. You would be able to click right here on Google Drive. It will access your drive and you'll be able to see all of your folders and files that are here. But if you don't currently have your media already recorded, you have the record option from right here inside of WeVideo. When you select on record, you get even further options. What would you like to record? You have the option to record your webcam, so if what you want to be featured in your video is you, you can select your webcam and it can be you speaking to your audience. If you don't want to be included in your video, but rather you have something more like a PowerPoint presentation or or something else that's currently built and on your computer, you can do what we call a screencast or capture your screen as you went through the presentation and maybe you were even annotating or narrating over top of it. And your final option, if you'd like to merge those two together, is to record both your webcam and your screen, and that'll give you sort of a picture-in-picture -picture option there. So I'm going to select webcam here and just give you a quick sample. I'm going to click OK. So here we can see that it's turned on my webcam. It's asking me to verify the microphone that I'd like to use, and I can click Start Recording. Then it even gives me a countdown, so that if I need a moment to get ready, I can do that before it actually starts recording. And then when I'm done, I click Save. I can play back my recording I can do that before it to make sure that I'm happy with it. If I definitely don't like it, I can click Record again, or if it's good, I click Save. Now, whether I had recorded my webcam or my screen, notice that it's adding it in my media area over here on the left, not down in my storyboard yet. What I need to wait, uh, what I need to do is wait until it's finished processing, and then just as I did with the Mars clip, I drag it down to my storyboard and put it in the position that I would like if I want it to become a part of the current story that I'm editing. So, two different ways you can get media. You can get it from WeVideo's stock footage or you can record your own 
media or upload from your My Media area. Check back for additional videos on how to continue building a project here in WeVideo.